All right, everyone, I'm just going to get right into the point here. So I'm using my cheese grater here to grade my soap. I already made one batch of this. Um, one batch is a little less than half a gallon. So what I start off with is Kirk's Fragrance Free Bar Soap. This is a coconut oil based cast um, Castile, Castile, however you pronounce it, um, soap. I have been using Kirk's, uh, Castile soap since probably out of high school. I started making my own laundry detergent because when I graduated from high school, I developed a really bad case of hives with some laundry detergent that was used, um, I had hives on my body the size of dinner plates and from that day on I started making my own laundry detergent. I thought about using Dr. Bronner's but Dr. Bronner's is really expensive and when I was at my local Walmart I found Kirk's and it was super affordable and it's non-toxic and which I love and I've had great success with it. So here I had to break up it into three pieces to um, get it through my cheese grater here. So now I'm just kind of grating the cheese. You can probably grate it more finer than, um, than this one than with my personal cheese grater but it's what I have here. If you have a um, manual cheese grater I should say you can probably get it finer than this but this works out um, just fine for me and later on I will explain um, just the extra step um, that I need to take because these are bigger kind of chunks of soap but like I said I'll explain that uh, later in this video so just grating the soap right now and this is just one bar. Okay, so now I have the soap grated and here is the consistency of it. It's like little fine cheese and no surprise since I grated it with my cheese grater. And now I'm just going to set that aside now. I'm getting a bigger bowl here and to this bowl I'm adding one cup of each of these ingredients here as I'm setting up. So like I said, one cup, one cup of washing soda. And I used to use Arm & Hammer um, Super Washing Soda, but I ended up have like I switched because Arm & Hammer, Arm & Hammer has water. It's sodium carbonate and water. And I used to have to get a knife and bang it and to just kind of get it to a powder and it's super hard. So now I have decided to use washing soda water free. And this big 10 pound bag was about $28 and it's going to last me a good while. And so here we go. One cup of washing soda. And you're going to want to pour it like inside the bowl because if you pour it kind of high it's going the powder is going to go everywhere and if you want um, you can wear a mask so you don't breathe it in. Now after that one cup of washing soda I'm using one cup of this Ecos uh, or Ecos um, I think it's Ecos um, Oxybrite and I just want to point out this is just sodium carbonate um, peroxide and sodium carbonate. Uh, so this is what's going to kind of get 
this is a stain remover and this is a natural stain remover I haven't had any problems with it on my skin you can leave it out if you like but this just really gives your laundry uh, your homemade laundry detergent a little extra boost and what I just do is I just kind of scoop it into the cup here so powder doesn't go everywhere and usually when I make this I am wearing a mask because I don't want to inhale any of this um, it's not toxic to the skin but you don't want to inhale any anything like this so I just really try to keep the powder residue at a minimum here so it's not inhaled And then once again, pouring it low in the bowl here. My next ingredient is salt. And we're only going to use half a cup here. And I bought this cheap salt and I made sure it just said salt. This is canning and pickling salt. And the only ingredient is salt. You don't want any caking agents in here um, because that can actually potentially clog up your washing machine so but salt is um, an abrasive so it's going to get your clothes a little cleaner um, when using homemade laundry detergent and this is only a half a cup and it seems like I'm pouring a lot here um, but it was kind of uh, um, uh, what is the word <laughs> for it? It was um, forming chunks, I should say. So it, it was a little be, being a little stubborn. Um, so yeah, just kind of pouring it in here. Now I'm just stirring and blending all of those ingredients together, the washing soda, the Oxybrite, and the salt. And it's kind of hard to see if it, everything's mixed in, but you do see it in person. And it's just, just a powder here. <laughs> but yeah, just kind of making sure everything is stirred up just nice, uh, nice and blended. Now here is the extra step. Now I am slowly adding the soap to the powder residue here because it does uh, chunk up a little bit. It does kind of, the soap kind of wants to stick together um, when you add it to the powder. So I slowly add it and just mix a little bit into the bowl at a time. And now I'm going to grab um, a little bit more here and just really sprinkle it, kind of get it nice and even, stir it briefly. And when I show you my mason jar of the batch I made just right before I started recording here, you'll see it kind of makes a layered um, kind of, a layered kind of um, uh, it's, it's just layered <laughs> um, as you see there's like some chunks there and that is the soap so what I do here is I add just a little bit at a time there so just adding a little bit more just really trying to get a nice distribu distribution of the soap and the powder, the mixed powder. Because um, now if you can grind your soap into a fine powder, you will not have this issue. It's not really an issue, it's just a little inconvenience. So now I'm just adding the rest of the soap to the mixture here. I'll give it a nice little stir. And you just have to just take your time, uh, take your time here. It's really not a big deal. Um, a half a gallon will last my husband and I a, a good, depending how dirty things are, like a good four months or, or even five months. So now I'm just funneling it in here. As you can tell, there's the kind of layered look 
for it. But yeah, this is pr practically it. It's super easy. It just takes a little bit more time. Now what I do for a rinse cycle is I use half a cup of vinegar here and you can use any vinegar you want. I just use white distilled vinegar. It's what I have on hand right now. And to that vinegar I add about, you know, three or four drops of, drops of my favorite um, essential oil. I absolutely adore eucalyptus oil. I love the smell of it. It smells like childhood to me. <laughs> I, the reason why it smells like childhood to me was because my mom used that Vicks vapor rub on me when I had a cold and I would just always love the scent of eucalyptus. Sometimes I use tea tree. That is my husband's favorite is tea tree oil. Um, I don't know what's on it but <laughs> there's still some in here. Uh, something spilled but these two are my favorite. I also do like using lemon essential oil, but I am going to start making my own vinegars using um, citrus peels. So once I get enough lemons, citrus, um, citrus lemons that I've used, I will make vinegar from it. Um, same with oranges. I love oranges. I'll save the peels and grapefruit. I love grapefruit in the morning. I like it alongside with my yogurt. So those three, I am going to make my own vinegars, mainly for cleaning, not cooking, cleaning, because they're just so refreshing. They have a, such a good scent to it. So I'll probably won't buy those anymore, but I do love having them on hand right now um, before I make my own vinegar. And I will probably always have the eucalyptus and tea tree oil on hand. Um, but yeah, great uses. Um, these are my favorite essential oils, especially for cleaning. Now, I've heard some people put the essential oils right into the detergent if they wish, but I don't do that just because it's more things I have to mix in with it, but I just pour it right in with the vinegar um, during my rinse cycle. And um, that's all I use. So it's very um, simple. Yep, just put it in with the vinegar, um, three to four drops in the half cup. I will post a link of where I get my essential oils. I've been using Simply Earth um, for the last five years now. And I hope this uh, laundry um, detergent helps you because somebody a lot smarter than me came up with this recipe. <laughs> um, and I just... I hope it works out for you or an anybody who wants to try it. Thank you for watching and bye!